Hi, my name's Mike, and I'm here to talk to you about rats. Uh, rats have been a uh, big problem here in the town of Arlington for the past several months, uh, enough so that the town of Arlington actually issued a statement on rats and uh, how to deal with them um, and warning residents about rats. Um, how do you know you have a rat rather than a mouse? Well, a rat is substantially larger than a mouse. So if you see it, a mouse with its tail, a big mouse, might get about five inches long, maybe six inches long, including the tail. A rat with a body will be around, uh, a small rat will have a body of about five inches or so, and they'll grow much larger than that. Um, so that's a quick way to tell. Also, you can tell um, they like to burrow underneath uh, uh, piles of leaves. Uh, they like to burrow into rock walls or under rock walls, um, under porches. So you'll see um, a burrow or a hole, um, and there'll usually be two, at least two hole entry, uh, an entry and an exit, uh, so that the, uh, the rat has an escape route. So uh, that's a couple of ways that you can tell uh, the difference between the two. Um, in trapping rats, uh, there's a variety of different types of traps that we can look at. This one here is an old-fashioned rat trap. This is the one that uh, your grandma and grandpa used to set out there. Um, this has uh, the bale, which comes over, and it's on a strong spring, so you got to be careful with this so it doesn't snap back and bite you. And this is the um, uh, uh, the, the hold back here, and that slips underneath this uh, little uh, um, bump out in the bale here. Um, here is where you would put the um, put the uh, the bait so that the rat has something to to lure it in. So you set this with the bale back, and then once you release the pressure off in that bale, it's set and ready to go. So you have to be careful with it. So when you go to set it down, you don't want to put your fingers where the bale is going to flip over. Just set it down gently and then walk away. Um, you can release a trap just by pushing down on this, moving this over, and then allowing the bale to come back under control. There are newer traps which are a little bit safer to use. Uh, this one, as an example, is baited in here so you uh, take the bait and you stuff it in that little hole and then to set the trap you simply push back here and set the trap and once it's set you still just like the other trap have to be careful you don't want to prematurely uh, set the trap off just set it down gently and you're all set ready to go to release the trap on this one push down on the back and then release it by pushing on the paddle and it'll come down like that uh, this is a different version of basically the same thing, just a different manufacturer. This trap here is uh, like an electric chair for rats. So it allows you to take out your uh, frustrations on them. Uh, it has two plates, one that the animal stands on and the other one that hits the back of the rat. So when the rat goes in, it sets the trap off and electrifies both plates and the, uh, the rat is essentially electrocuted. It'll go off for about two minutes killing the rat and then there will be an indicator light that will tell you that the rat or the trap has been triggered and it'll allow you to go out, empty the trap, and then reuse it. Uh, you can reuse this I think up to four or five times on a single set of batteries. Uh, another way to get rid of rats is to poison rats. Uh, these are baiting stations. Uh, what happens is, is they have, uh, we'll look at this one here, they have a bait block inside. The rat goes in around the corner, eats some of the bait, and then uh, it actually causes them to get thirsty. It, uh, uh, they, they bleed internally and, and they, they are driven toward water. Um, so this is a single use. So once this bait block is gone, um, that's it. The trap just gets thrown away, and then you would put another one out if you needed to. This one here is basically the same uh, idea, but it has a window that allows you to um, uh, rebate this, this uh, uh, bait station. Uh, then you can also buy baits in bulk. So this is a, a 
bucket of bait. Uh, you could use this in a variety of different situations. For instance, if you had a shed uh, at a, uh, or um, a trash storage area where the rats were getting into, you could take this and spread that around. You would use this in an area that you had some control over, like a shed, like an enclosure for trash, along those lines. You could also, if you knew where the uh, rat hole was, you could take this if you felt so inclined and brave enough um, and push it down the rat hole and uh, to uh, hopefully entice the rat to eat it. Um, so the other thing to consider is uh, the food for the rats. Where are they getting their food from? Uh, compost is a very popular place for them, so you don't want to be composting um, any food products uh, especially meats or bones or things like that um, that aren't going to break down rapidly in your compost. Um, your trash is a very popular place for rats to get their dinner. Uh, this trash can here is an animal control uh, trash can and what it has is just like any other trash can it's got handles that come up and clip into the lip of the lid um, to hold the lid in place but in addition to that it has these spring-loaded or bungee-loaded uh, hold downs which then hold it in place snugly so that that way uh, rats can't get into it easily it'll also help uh, protect your trash from raccoons and other uh, animals that dig through garbage. So that's uh, uh, some of the ways that you can uh, deal with this rat issue here in town. Um, hopefully uh, this is a cycle that will change and they'll go away, but uh, until then you know that Wanamakers has some solutions for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.